Hi, my name is Alessandro Gandirosi and that's a tip tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This tip will be really really simple but it's uh, to talk about a feature that usually uh, maybe uh, can seem hidden inside 3ds Max. You know that if we like to search for images or maybe search for other things inside 3ds Max, we have to go out of 3ds Max inside the uh, operative system and search for it or maybe use some uh, image tools to see the image. But there is uh, another feature and you can use it there and you can find inside the utility. And I'm talking about the asset browser. Let's open the asset browser and you see that we have something similar to a browser where, for example, if we want, we can use it to move inside the web. So you see we can uh, directly use the asset browser to navigate inside the web because it can browse the web and it can browse all the uh, internal feature and folder in your workstation. So you see, for example, I can go there and search for stuff. So for example, you can go inside the um, FTP and browse the stuff and the file inside the FTP. So uh, a, simple, a, a simple usage there is to go, uh, obviously there we have the navigation system, we have the back, the forward, the stop, the reload, the uh, 3ds Max on page, and the add to favorites. So we have the normal and usual feature we can find inside, for example, Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer. Uh, but it's really useful to search for maps. So we can go there inside the Arc material, and you see that we can have a thumbnail visualization of our maps. So we can collect the texture, search for textures, and see uh, uh, a preview without the need to go out of 3ds Max and, for example, use the Windows Explorer. So uh, we have the possibility, for example, to select an image, and with the right mouse button, we have the possibility to use the view, and you see that we load the map to see it, or, and uh, then we can manipulate it as the other bitmap inside 3ds Max or we have the possibility to see the properties of the file. So we have the path, we have the resolution, the aspect ratio, gamma, how many frames, the size, and the other information as the file type and the file date. And that's really, really useful. You see that we can make also a uh, multi-selection and we have, for example, the possibility to, uh, you see, move the maps and copy it with no problems, so we can pick this one and move inside another folder, and that's really um, a fast tool. You see that there we have again the uh, information we have for the file, and then we have there the filters. The filters is really, uh, let's move a little bit the window there, you see that we can see, for example, all images, just the images, just the geometry, just the cache file, or all files. And then the uh, kind of files we like to see there, to browse, we have the max scene, we have all the importable format files, and then we have just the max script or the uh, AutoCAD files, or then all the other image files we can read inside 3ds Max. So, for example, if we are there and I set to GIF, you see that we have no images because we cannot search for GIF. Uh, let's go for all images and then we have back the images there. Then we have the possibility to see the thumbnail and we have to store type by name, by type, by size and by date. And that's usual as usual for any other uh, feature, for example, also for the OpenFD system. Then we have the thumbnail size, we have the small one obviously it will be faster to prepare the medium and the large to have a better visualization of our file. Then we have the possibility to understand what we have to, uh, to see, if we have to see the directory tree, the favorite bar, the status bar, the timeline pane, and we are talking about all this panel there. We have the favorites and that's for the web browsing. 
and then we have the browse command again and that's the uh, commands we can find there in the toolbar so we have again the refresh the forward the back the home and the stop so you see it's really interesting and you can uh, obviously check also for scenes so let's go in the um, documents and 3ds max and scenes obviously now we can't see scenes because we have the filter there for all images if we say 3ds max scene you see that we have the scene with also uh, a preview in the thumbnail of the scene so we can understand which kind of scene we are opening in a really uh, fast way visual, uh, with a visualization of what we are uh, searching for inside 3ds max so this feature is uh, old because it is in, inside 3ds max since a lot of version it is maybe not so used because usually we work out of 3ds max but you know that we have this feature inside 3ds max and you can use it without any to move around the uh, the operating system to uh, use something that is inside the main software so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye